Okay, so I'm gonna show how to fit my e-collar onto my Vish Lazara here. So the collar is on. I'm using the long prongs with her because I found if I don't, I have to get it really, really tight for the short prongs to work. So the long prongs seem to work better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fit it on her where it's pretty much right underneath the bony part um, of her skull. And I'm gonna find, I've got it marked on mine, but I'm gonna find a place where it's tight, but not too tight. So I, a little hard to see, I can still fit, I can show this, <laughs> I can still fit two fingers underneath, right? But I really can't fit a whole lot more. Um, and the, I guess, receiver thing, it's pretty right up on her neck. The prongs are pretty well in there. Um, so you can see it's definitely tight, but she's not choking or anything. She can still breathe fine. Um, so you're probably gonna want it tighter than you think is needed, but, um, and you can play around with it and try to find out you know, what is too tight. So I'll show it too loose so you have an idea what that looks like. So if I have it even just one notch down, so now I can fit like a whole hand under here. That's probably okay, but if she moves around at all, it's gonna be, it's gonna wiggle some more and I don't really want that. So, um, you know, try to get it so it's pretty tight where the dog is not, you know, they can still breathe, but it's, it's pretty firm on there. Um, you really don't want it, it shouldn't be like this loose here where it can really slide. It should not be sliding like that. That's way too loose, um, even with the long prongs.